Okay, so carrying on, we've got our um, stretch data. We've got our simple star mask in place. We can tell by the brown icon. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to use a very simple tool, but very, very effective. And it's called HDRMT, High Dynamic Range Multi Scale Transform. A nice PixInsight long winded um, title, but there's lots of tools with similar long windedness about them. But it's a very effective tool. So, what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to clone the image. So we've got our original to, to compare to. And then we're just going to iconize that and so we can move it out of the way. Okay. Then we're going to produce some previews. So one, two, three. All previews, all of the whole screen. So the whole screen previews. These are not images, these are just previews. So they're a visualization of the image. We've got our original image there, hey track, and these are all exactly the same. They're just a copy of the image. They're not clones, they're not pictures, but we can work on them. So, and then also what we're going to do is we're going to make another preview, go back to the original image, another preview of just the horse head. Um, and just a little bit bigger, just so we can get a little, because this will be very quick. A lot of the tools are very um, labor intensive and very process hungry. So by working on a smaller preview makes it a lot faster. So preview five, we're going to select preview five and that gives us our horse heads quite nicely. We can work on that uh, very fast. Now, with previews, you don't have to go backwards and forwards. You don't have to go backwards and forwards, undo, redo. You can just keep putting more information on top, and it will always work from the original. It won't work from the one underneath. So what we're going to do, uh, just, is, just an exercise, we're going to start off with five layers and we're just going to apply five layers and you can see that's the difference it makes quite a vicious quite intense um, transformation to the nebula and the horse head has got an horrible glow around it five is no good five with a lightness mask nope five with both masks yep better it's, it's made a nice enhancement but it hasn't done too much to the nebula. Change it. Six. We go six layers. Six layers with both masks. Nope, didn't like that. Take both masks off. Quite nice. Horse head nicely enhanced the dark. Six with one mask. Not much difference. Six with the other mask. Yep, made a bit of difference. Enhanced it quite a, a subtle enhancement. Seven. Seven layers. No mask. Not bad. Seven layers with lightness mask. Not much difference. Seven layers. Both masks. Again, more subtle. So, seven layers no masks is quite a nice effect so when we think we've we've got it we've narrowed it down we can then so we've got an idea that seven no mask is going to be our number we're not going to worry about any of the other talk the other uh, bits and pieces for a minute again as i said we're going to try and keep them simple you can once you're using the tool browse the documentation just click on the paper and it will bring up the documentation for the tool so in preview one Remember this? So this is our original. So this is a preview of our original image. Preview one. We're going to go to five layers, no masks, and just drop the icon. So there we go. That's what five gives us. Pretty horrid. 
preview two. Six layers, no masks. Better, quite nice enhancements. Preview three, seven, no masks. Seven, very nice on the dark, and you can zoom in and out, remember, to have a look, see what we've achieved. Really nice detail on the horse, and really nice detail in the flame. So, seven's looking good. Preview four. Seven with masks. Nope, not like that. Preview five is our. One. Now we can go on and on and on, but I'm quite happy with that number seven uh, for a minute. Now, if you wanted to, if you know, if you want to keep this in order, you could just change these identifiers. Put five, six, seven, so you know where you are. So if you've got lots of these, you don't get confused. Um, but I'm okay. So seven. I think seven layers is quite nice. It's quite a nice, got nice contrast. Yeah, so we go with seven. So I'm going to delete all the previews. Preview, delete all. So now we can apply a seven with no masks to the whole image. And then we can compare with the original. We just double click on the original, put them side by side. We can compare. So this one is very is very flat. This one's got a lot more contrast and a lot more detail in the nebula and the flame and the horse. Now if we want to zoom in on an area of this image or that image, but this image we're going to work on. So we want to zoom in on the flame. Okay. Now we want to look at the same area on this image. All we do, take the icon, drag it across, and drop it on top of the other icon. So we've now got exactly the same area. So we can see the before and the after the enhancement in exactly the same zoom level. So this works quite nicely. Yeah. So we'll go with that. And we'll keep our clone. This is remember this is the untouched data. We'll just leave that up there. Um, and so that pretty much for the minute is the HDR tool. And as you can see, it does give some quite nice enhancements. Okay, so moving on. We're now uh, we're going to do a little bit. Of, there's only there's only a couple more processes we're going to do with this image. We're going to do a little a tiny bit of sharpening, and then we're going to do a bit of denoising, um, and then just a we'll just boost the contrast and and just just to bring it forward a little bit. So a simple there's a few sharpening tools on Dixon Site, but we're going to use the simplest one, um, and it's LHE local histogram equalization. Not many controls, that's why I've picked it. And again, preview. And we do a preview of the area. Select our preview. Zoom it to where we want it. And then if we press the live or the real-time preview, that is a preview of this setting, remember. So if we reset the tool here, that's, that's the default settings. So we can change this now in real time to what we want it to be. And you can see it happening in front of your face. So it's a really good tool. It's a very fine tool to use. It takes a bit of getting used to. Um, we don't want to overdo it, which is very easy to overdo it. We want to get it somewhere. Okay, so we, we find the level 
that we want to enhance these edges. And then you can drop the amount the process is actually working on the image. So I think that will look pretty good. What we can do now is we can close that. We can clone the whole image. I'll copy it, not clone, preview the whole image. Go to preview 2. So this is now our whole image. And then we can try that on the whole image without losing our original and see what we've got. And you can see why we use previews because it's a very labor intensive tool. So uh, this is an i7 computer and it still um, has to work hard to process some of these tools. Uh, <coughs> there we go. So that's done quite nicely. So now we've got a lot more detail down the bottom a lot more detail at the top um, without going too overboard. Our horse is still very nicely defined. Our stars are very nice. We know we've still got our star mask in place. So, yep, happy with that. A very simple tool, very effective. And we'll just minimize that, put it out of the way. Then we're going to do a little, um, a, just a small boost. So we go process all processes, curves transformation. Now this is very good for color saturation, uh, working on the individual channels, but obviously we've only got a black and white image, so we're going to work on black and white. It works well, RGBK, so this is the this is the one we actually work on. Um, and then we're going to put a live real time preview. So this is our image. And then if you see, if we boost, we can boost it and drop it and we can do all sorts of stuff. But we don't want to do too much, too savage. We'll just reset that. All we want to do is just boost the midtones a little bit. So we just lift very slightly and you can see that changing. Um, and maybe just a little bit there. And try. Drag it on. A mm, bit too much. Undo. Mm, maybe not. So, ah, I know why. We wasn't on a preview. Preview 2. Here we go. So let's drop that on our preview 2. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. So we go back to our, our original image. We're gonna I'm gonna delete the previews now. And we'll just drop that on the image. It just just lifts the I'm not sure if I like that or not actually. And then we can just have a look if we want it. Undo, redo. I'm going to leave that as it was, I think. Yeah. Now we have, we, we have got a lot of data in here. We can go on and on a bit here. If we want, we can keep stretching and stretching, but it sh I quite like it quite subtle. You know, we've got the horse here, we've got the flame, quite nice, intense. Um, and I quite like the swirling mists of the HA in the background. I think that actually looks quite nice. So for me, that is where I would leave that. And then I would do just a tiny amount of denoising. So we preview, preview, so we could just click on preview one. And then if we zoom right in, we can just see there's just a little bit maybe just a little bit too much noise there. So to deal with that, we go process, all processes, TGV denoise. Remember, we're only working on the preview, so we can do this very quickly. Um, 
we'll leave the settings as default for a minute and we'll just drop that on. Okay, so if we zoom in now and if we go to our undo redo, we can just see that's maybe just a bit too much. So if we come down with our strength, and drop it on. Again, undo redo. Still, for me, just a little bit too strong. We don't want to get rid of all of the noise. Down. Drop the icon up. Not bad. Go to our whole image. Drop the icon on the whole image. And now that applies TGRE denoise to the whole image. It takes a little while. This one is very intensive. Um, and pretty much, if we just delete that preview, move that out of our way, I think we've got quite a nice quite a nice image of the horse head. If we zoom right in, it's quite nice and smooth but not overly done. If we and then what you would do is delete the mask. And then at that point you'd save. And when you save um, an image, you need to save it so you go file, save as we go to our Horsehead Nebula folder, um, then probably a new folder, and put finished one. Um, because I always tend to go back a couple of days later. Um, finish one, um, and then we can change this to process one. XISF, save, and then just OK, OK. Um, and if you want to save it as a JPEG, it's just File, Save As, change the XISF to JPEG, and then save, OK, put that to 100%, OK. And then in our file, so we have a look, if we double click on the screen, in our Horsehead Nebula, we've now got a XISF process one and a JPEG for a process one. Okay, so if you're going to put it on the web, and you know you need a JPEG. Um, and then TGV denoise sometimes does flatten the image quite um, slightly, but I actually think uh, it looks okay. So there we are, Horsehead all done. Next time we will add some colour to the same image. We'll we'll carry on doing narrowband, and we'll add. Um, I think I've got. I'm not sure if I've got S2 and O3, but we'll add at least one. So that will be when we come back. Speak to you soon.